robber who targeted lone women in North London sentenced to more than six years. A man who committed four targeted robberies against lone women in North London, leaving them terrified, has been imprisoned for six years and six months. Officers from the Robbery Focus Unit based at Wood Green investigated a series of robberies that happened across Enfield and Harringay in April 2020. After each robbery the suspect was driven away in a silver Vauxhall Casa, which was registered to Marco Marx Correa. Marco Marx Correa, 44 of no fixed address, was found guilty of four counts of robbery and sentenced at Wood Green Crown Court on Friday, May 26. Dedicated detectives identified a common theme between each of the robberies lone women were being attacked in broad daylight by a lone man, who then made off from the scene in a waiting vehicle. This vehicle was described in all reports as a small silver car. Detectives later identified a silver Vauxhall Casa registered to Marco Marx Correa. He was then arrested and interviewed, but provided no comment in his police interview. It is believed Marx Correa played different roles during the robberies from driving the car or physically committing the robberies, working with a number of accomplices. Officers also analyzed CCTV evidence, ANPA cameras, and spoke to victims and witnesses to build a case against him. He was charged with four counts of robbery on 16 September 2022. Detective Constable Harry Mansbridge led the investigation. He said, Marco Marx Correa provided no excuse for his involvement in the robberies. He was emotionless and showed no remorse for his actions throughout the trial. Marx Correa and the other robbers he was working with specifically targeted lone women, as they believed they could take advantage and easily overpower them. Their violent actions left the victims terrified for their safety and has left a last impact on them all. I hope today's outcome shows Londoners that we take both robbery and violence against women seriously. We will do everything we can to seek justice. I'd like to thank the quick-thinking individuals who called the police as soon as these robberies happened and provided information to officers. By reporting a robbery as soon as it has taken place it makes all the difference to our investigations. The first hour after a robbery takes place or that golden hour is critical to capturing robbers. Dramatic police chase ends after police use Stinger to stop dangerous HGV driver. A dangerous runaway lorry driver was left feeling deflated after police interceptors struck with a heavy-duty Stinger. An Co HGV, suspected to be on false plates, was heading along the A1 when the driver was instructed to pull over near Cromwell. After failing to stop, he drove dangerously close to pursuing officers. Even after his tires were deflated by an expertly deployed police stinger device, he continued the pursuit for several minutes before abandoning the vehicle near Fernwood, Newark. A suspect was found hiding in the undergrowth by a security guard from a nearby service station and arrested by officers on the night of the 2nd of November 2022. He later pleaded guilty to dangerous driving and driving while disqualified, appearing at Nottingham Crown Court on December the 5th. The 42-year-old was jailed for a total of 19 months and banned from driving for a further six years. He will have to take an extended test if he is ever to drive legally again. The dramatic incident can be seen in tonight's jam-packed episode of Police Interceptors. Police Constable Haddon Smith of Nottinghamshire Police Roads Policing Unit said, this was an extremely dangerous display of driving that could very easily have resulted in serious injury to police officers or other road users. It goes without saying that an HGV being driven in this way poses a considerable risk to other road users. So it was imperative that we ended this pursuit quickly. After the lorry went over the stinger the tires started to smoke. I could smell burning rubber and parts of tire were being flung across the carriageway. The lorry was swervering across both lanes and towards the central reservation. The driver drove the wrong way round a roundabout and on the wrong side of the road before he crashed into a fence and ran from the lorry, but he was detained a short distance away. This really was an excellent team effort by all involved who worked together to bring the incident to a safe conclusion. Murder investigation begins in Wolverhampton. We've started a murder investigation after a man found with serious injuries in Wolverhampton this morning May the 29th has died. We were called to Tettenhall Road after a man in his 40 seconds was discovered with serious head injuries at just after 7am. Sadly, nothing could be done to save him. 
We are in the early stages of our inquiries, but we believe this followed disorder in the area. A scene remains in place between Hayden Hill and Clark Road while we seek to establish exactly what happened and why. We are examining CCTV and carrying out house-to-house -house inquiries, but we remain keen to hear from anyone with information. You can contact us via live chat on our website or by calling 101 and quote log 651 of May the 29th. Appeal after man found with serious injuries in Hansworth. We are appealing for witnesses after a 50-year-old man was discovered with serious head injuries on a Birmingham street. We were called to Chapel Street, Hansworth, shortly after midnight yesterday 29th. The man was given treatment at the scene by our colleagues from West Midlands Ambulance Service and taken to hospital. He remains in a critical condition. We believe the man was assaulted and we are keen to hear from anyone who may have information to assist us. Inspector Damien Forrest from Force Sid at Aston said, We are in the early stages of our investigation and have been studying CCTV in a bid to establish how the man received his injuries. We believe he has been assaulted and would urge witnesses or people with information to assist us. We are particularly keen to speak to people who may have DASCOM footage. People who can help the investigation should contact Live Chat on our website or by ringing 101 quoting log number 1574 of May the 28th. Alternatively call Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800555111. Man charged after police officer assaulted. We've charged a man with two counts of assault and possession of drugs after an incident in Shard End this week. A man in his 50s was taken to hospital with a head injury following the assault on Tile Cross Road on Wednesday, May the 24th, and a police officer treated for a hand injury. A 24-year-old man will appear in court after being charged with grievous bodily harm, assault on an emergency worker, and possession of a class of drug. He was remanded into custody for trial at Birmingham Crown Court starting June the 23rd. Police said, We are investigating a sexual assault which was reported to us in Chelmsford yesterday, Sunday, May the 28th. The incident took place in a walkway between 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue at about 3.2 p.m. The victim, a teenage girl, was approached and sexually assaulted. Thankfully, the victim was able to leave the area quickly and is safe and well. She and her family are being supported by our officers. The suspect is a boy who we believe to be aged in his mid to late teens. He has dark colored or black hair and was wearing a gray t-shirt, gray jeans and black trainers. Further inquiries have also identified two other people who may be able to provide key information on the investigation. One is a white teenage girl or young woman, and the other is a tall black man of muscular build. Both are being treated as witnesses and not in any way suspects. Chief Inspector Paul Ballard, Chelmsford District Commander, said. Chief Inspector Paul Ballard, Chelmsford District Commander, said, I know this incident will naturally cause concern within our community and I can assure you this investigation is moving along at pace with officers having already identified really key lines of inquiry. Extra patrols were put in place yesterday and they are continuing today and into this week. Those officers are there to reassure the community so if you have any concerns please feel free to speak to them. They are there to help. A man has been charged with 28 counts of arson after a series of fires were set across the Uddlesford district. The incidents took place between February 2022 to May 2023 and included fires set in bins including wheelie bins, recycling bins, dog waste bins and on a train station platform as well as bus shelters and bushes. The majority of the incidents were reported. As part of our thorough investigation, a man aged in his 20s was arrested yesterday morning, Saturday, May the 27th. Andrew Thorne, 26, of McNeil Rise. Great Chesterford has been charged with 28 counts of arson. He is due to appear in Chelmsford Magistratescourt tomorrow, Monday, May the 29th. Inspector Jenna Meerington French of our community policing team said, I would like to thank the local community for coming forward and providing key evidence which has been hugely helpful to the team investigating the incidents. I would like to thank the local community for coming forward and providing key evidence which has been hugely helpful to the team investigating the incidents.
I would also like to thank our colleagues in Essex County Fire and Rescue Service and other partners who have supported us in keeping people safe within our communities. We take these incidents very seriously and my team have worked incredibly hard alongside the Crown Prosecution Service to ensure we secured as many charges as possible. I would like to thank PC Sampson who is the investigating officer in this case. Offenses such as arson can have devastating consequences and causes unnecessary risk to our communities. We will continue to work closely with partners within the Community Safety Partnership to ensure the ongoing safety of our communities. A man has been charged with firearms offenses following the discovery of weapons at a property in Liverpool. In September last year, officers executed a warrant at a property in Toxteth and discovered a firearm, a grenade and ammunition at the address following an investigation by Merseyside Police. The firearm was made safe by officers and forensically recovered. Ross Smith, 44 years, of no fixed address but originally from North Wales has been charged with possession of explosive substance for unlawful purpose, possession of a prohibited weapon, and possession of ammunition for a firearm without a certificate. He was remanded into police custody after appearing at Liverpool Magistrates Court today, Thursday, May 25. Smith is due to appear at Liverpool Magistrates Court on Thursday, June 1. Merseyside Police proactively investigates serious organized crime, including the use of guns and the supply and distribution of drugs on Merseyside, and is relentless in its pursuit of offenders. Detective Chief Inspector of Firearm Investigation Team, Paul McVeigh said, It is vital that members of our communities come forward with information so we can make our communities safer for the decent, law-abiding people who live in areas affected by gun crime where people are willing to support the police. We will ensure every possible avenue is progressed to protect them. And if you don't feel comfortable coming directly to the police call the independent, anonymous, Crime Stoppers hotline on 0800555111. We need to know who is involved in gun crime and where those guns are being stored. If you have any information about suspected firearms in your area, Please contact at Merpolch 101 or Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800555111. Always call 999 if a crime is in progress. Great to have you on board again with us. Help us to keep producing these crime update videos by liking and hitting the subscribe button below.